let's talk to Keith and find out about his opinion on Floyd and why he thinks Floyd is amazing or if he thinks Floyd is amazing. Floyd is amazing, no doubt about it. <laughs> but we want a very and very frank take off on Floyd. I'll speak honestly. I never really got listened to listening to Floyd much. Except for that one brick on the wall, dude. And then later on, I started playing in a hotel. So Floyd was not on the repertoire. So I never got to listen to much of Floyd. But anyway, but this song used to be this this one and this other one comfortably enough, which we used to do in the hotel. But then I started moving on and playing from 90, 95, 96. Joined this band, we formed this band, Locked in, and started doing cover tune. These were these guys were way into Floyd, Jim. So the to me. So that's how I got the ear and they used to give me CDs or whatever, tapes to listen to. So I thought were a very good writer, he and David Gilmer. I mean, they are Floyd. What should I say? The people should misunderstand. The bass pattern and the chord, the melody and the harmony are not so complicated or tricky to play. But you just to follow the tune and except for some couple of tunes, they shine on your crazy diamond. And uh, goodbye, blue skies. Yeah. There we have to really be like, not really work out the fight, but be alert and go through the chord changes and the harmony. That And Roger Waters was playing it straight. He's nothing fancy. Not a, I won't consider him as a fancy bass player. He's a bass player. He's a very good songwriter. And he just, what shall I say, Elder Blue, like a bass is supposed to do. Bass is a body of the song. 